Hey guys, what's up? It's 87 Elok here, and today I'm bringing you guys a quick tip video, and by quick I mean like 8 minutes, because I couldn't get a shorter gameplay, but whatever. But how to uh, rank up really quickly in Call of Duty Ghosts. So, right now it's a double XP weekend, in case you guys didn't know, it just started today, goes on till like, like Monday, I don't even know. But, so what Infinity War did, for the, in right in time for this double XP weekend, is they installed a new game mode, it's called Reinforce. What it is, it's like a hybrid between, uh, I guess, domination and search and rescue or search and destroy. And what it is, quickly like, rundown of it, is you have, there's A, B, and C. And they're sometimes in the same spots as uh, the domination flags like they are on this map or sometimes they're in different spots. And so what you can do is it's like it has the search and rescue aspect as if you die, then you're out. You're out for it unless one of your teammates captures the flag. So if, say... Uh, you'll see in this game, uh, some of my teammates are dead, or, or I'm dead. One or one of us will capture a flag and we'll come back alive. That's the goal. And how it works is, for scoring, it was three thousand or three thousand points a capture before. I think it they patched it to one thousand five hundred just recently. But I'm not, I'm not gonna say a hundred percent sure for that because that might not stay. That was just something I realized while we were playing. We got kicked out of the game and like the playlist changed. And we lost about half our points. And then per kill, it's 500 points. So it doesn't really matter what you're doing. You're getting a lot of points. So I think in this game, I'll show you at the end. I think I got like 20, 25,000. I got, I got tons of XP. I ranked up from level 50 to level 60, in or to I guess level 50 to prestige in like an hour, maybe an hour and a half of playing time. And I was just playing this with my friend, as you can see, there's the blue square on there. So we were playing together, it was a lot of fun. And yeah, so also how this game works is, it's pretty much an infinite time. Uh, for you, So you obviously, you have a, a flag that you spawn close to. Most of the time you'll get that. Simple enough. Next you have a, uh, you have the middle flag, and the other team has their spawn flag. If both teams have a flag, the time gets paused. So you'll see in the corner, down where uh, the time is, you'll see it says time paused when we both have a flag, and, and this is where we started our B rush. Because B, you always have to go for B. That's probably the best uh, thing I can tell you guys. Like uh, I, I couldn't get a Warhawk gameplay, but I think we, me and my friend Jacob, won every time on Warhawk just because if you, if you guys, if two of you rush B, then and there's it's a four v four. That's uh, that's the one bad thing. If it was a six v six, it'd be so much fun. It's so challenging, but it's a four v four. And so if two of you rush B, and two of you stay back, it what it causes is uh, the two people at B, they either get B and die, they don't get B and they die, or they get B and they get away. If you get B and you die, you can get revived by A, which is like a fail safe. So we decided every time we just rushed B, took B, that was the best plan. And yeah, so I've been getting anywhere from like 15k to... I think I got up to like 30, 36k one game. Like that was the most XP I've ever gained in a, like Call of Duty. I think. Like I don't think I've ever gotten higher than that. And the challenges they haven't set like a challenge system up for this gameplay yet. They also haven't set up or for this game mode I should say. They also haven't set it up for uh, like the leaderboards either, right? So me and my friends were like, oh, let's try and get ranked in this gameplay. Like no life it. And yeah. Uh, not gonna work out because they don't have the they don't have like the leaderboards up there yet. And I don't know if they're gonna install one. They probably will in the next patch because there's a patch coming out in the next couple days. But uh, with the invasion map pack, they have a big patch coming out where you can get like the gold PDW and gold knife. But that's besides the point. Um, but yeah, so they might patch it and add that leaderboard. If not, we probably won't go for it. We probably can't go for it if that's how it works. But oh, we both died. Yeah, that was such a stupid. Move. But yeah, so. If the the challenges that you'll be getting is the domination challenges for uh, all the flags you're capturing. So I already captured I think 50 domination flags, and since this is a different account, I don't have like my a different Xbox account. I don't have any flags captured. I captured 50 in about an hour and a half, and then I got a bunch of search and rescue things for r picking up tags, which I didn't do. I just revive people, right? Because you can revive up to three people. If all your teammates are dead and you capture a flag, bam, that's three people revived. 1,500 points now, or 3,000. In this game, uh, I think I was getting 3,000. I'll check right here because I, I remember capturing this flag. 
So bam, I got, yeah, oh no, I got 1,500 in this one. So this is one of the good examples of the games where I actually did good. See, way before in the beginning, it was double XP, and it's still double XP. So, I guess it was originally 1,500, and then you got the double XP, and they changed it to just, uh, oh yeah, I called my dog out there and ended up killing him. But I think a dog ends up winning this round. But anyways, yeah, so that double XP doesn't really make that much of a difference in this game compared to what it was before, uh, but doesn't really matter because you're still going to gain tons of XP and yeah this game I ended up like like I said I got like 25,000 XP I got something like I got huge amounts of XP I went like 10 and 3 like you do not need to do good in this game type to actually like win it or not not to actually win it but to actually like get tons of points you just need to Make sure you're getting kills, and make sure you're defending flags and capturing flags. Like, it's not hard to do. You can, you get, like, okay, just for spawning in every time, if you just uh, get into the game, you can die. But if you spawn in all four rounds, if you guys go 0-4 or 4-0, you automatically get 6k just for playing the game. Just for playing the game, you get 6k. I, like right there, I think I just got a challenge. Yeah, I got two rescue kills with uh, the K7. I got a challenge, so that's even more, especially on double XP weekend. So that's why I suggest playing this right now, right when it just came out, because a lot of people don't know what they're doing. A lot of people haven't came up with strategies to play yet. So if you guys can get out there, you like, say, like I said, Warhawk, think of some strategies to play. You guys are gonna be really good in this game mode. You're actually gonna destroy a bunch. Like I'm telling you guys, I. Like, I just did all that ranking up. It was insane, and I'm tired of shit for it, but, you know, I think it was worth it in the end. And so, yeah, I think this is just with the second last round right there. We have the overtime round coming up, which I think, I don't think it was that long. It was kind of a good, it was a good match I played. I enjoyed playing with these guys. I think there are people coming and going all the time, but I get, like, three more kills this round before it ends. I think I ended with nine captures or something like that. Like, the capture amount is insane. And you guys are always switching flags all the time, going back and forth. Like, we captured C at the beginning. I probably captured A eventually, because that's something I'm good at. I'm good at going for the captures. And I killed this guy, then took his flag. Cause I'm, uh, <laughs> I don't know. It's just easier to do that. And so you know my guys are dead, so you don't get an example. They're reviving right here. But I think there was an example somewhere in the game. It's like, I don't know. It was a really good game for them to install. And I've been, I've been having a lot of fun with it in the time I've played. But, yeah. Uh, let's see what happens. Do we knock them out? No. Oh, yeah. Uh, they go... I can't remember. Did they go for B here? I think they went for B. Because I switched guns about ten times. Yeah, they go for B. Take them out, and then I capture B. I, I don't know. I used more strategy there because all my teammates were dead. I let them capture that flag. Oh, I just hit that mic. Hope that didn't hurt your ass. I let them capture B just so I could get that uh, get my teammates revived, and I think that caused us to actually win the game. Like, you'll see right here, I get the winning kill cam. That's actually the winning kill cam right there. Then I waste my Trinity rocket, apparently, because... Everyone, uh, there was one of them left, and then he was just inside, and I was like, oh, fucking god damn it. But whatever. So, yeah, this is the big part of the game, or big part of the game right here, because I just want you guys to see how many points I get. Like, it is insane, guys. You're completing random challenges for more than one game type, playing one game. The games don't even last that long. Like, I guess this one, this was one of the longer ones, but that's because we had, like, nine rounds, I think. No. Four, four and three. It's seven rounds. Sorry. So, yeah, and here's the, like I said, I got the game winning kill cam like 20 minutes before. But, yeah, it's like, it's, uh, it's fun to play. You get a lot of XP. It's just great overall, and, yeah, it's ending right here. Like, like I said, I went 10 and 3 that game, 10, 3, and 9, or 10, 3, and 8, or something like that. And it was, like, like a tiny score, but, as you can see, it's not that bad. Like, watch how much XP, 10, 3, 8, final score, and the XP comes up right now. Just wait for it, wait for it, and bam, look at that, almost 30k XP, I was 50, 57 XP off 30k XP, so I hope you guys enjoyed that, uh, I'm going to talk a little bit past the end of the gameplay, because I didn't think I was going to go that fast, but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed, just a quick tip, I wanted to get this out, and yeah, enjoy double XP weekend, like the video if you found it helpful, and don't forget to subscribe, peace guys.